According to both Bates and Collier, Henry's body was tangled up in algae when they found him. How could he possibly have drowned in this stone? I shouldn't have made Henry clean the fountain. How could I have known that something like that would happen? Something is glittering at the bottom. What could it be? gardening tools, and small tubes with fertilizer. Hmm, I can't see a bill of exchange anywhere. Where could Henry have put it? It's locked. The door is open. Hmm. Someone must be down there. Do you need anything, sir? I would like to ask you about something. Certainly, sir. Bates. Can the fountain back in the garden be drained? Hmm. Yes, there is a big pump in the cellar. It controls the water flow for the whole castle. It is possible to adjust the water level. However, I do not think it is a good idea to drain it after what happened. And Detective Collier should probably be notified about it, sir. I am merely considering all the alternatives. We have the right to find out what happened. Do you understand? Yes, I do. In that case, it is probably best not to tell anyone. Is that what you meant, sir? Very much so. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work.
water distribution controls. I have no idea which one does what. Bates, I would like a word with you. I'm listening, sir. Bates, that pump we talked about. Yes, sir. I think it is broken. Which valve controls the water level? The pump works all right, sir. Only one of the input valves broke off some time ago. The water level can still be adjusted using the other valves. It just takes a moment to figure out the right setup for what you want to do. How do I know if I have drained the fountain then? If I remember correctly, the second column from the right displays the level of water in the fountain. I will give it a try. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. Ready. A sign of some sort, or a symbol. A symbol similar to that from the tower wall. Strange, a new symbol beside another corpse. I'll take a picture of it, just like the first symbol. Something is glittering at the bottom. What could it be? This must be the thing that glittered at the bottom.
some papers and a few coins. The bill isn't here. Where could he have put it? A letter. It's addressed to Victoria. Madam, please regard this letter as one from an anonymous friend. One of your servants is not whom he pretends to be. You may find it interesting that he is an ex-prisoner. That he is an ex-prisoner and a thief. On several occasions, I watched him sneak quietly into the castle cellar using the old back door. I saw that person take away several bottles of some of the best vintages of your wine that you value so much. No doubt, some of your other valuables have also gone astray. I decided to write you this letter to prevent further stealing. The person's name is Morris. Hmm. Henry meant to blackmail Morris. I am curious as what to Morris will tell me about this. It's closed and probably full of whiskey. Henry hid it here so as not to carry it. Yes, sir. Morris, I know you've been stealing wine from our cellars. Me, sir? Who told you that? No one told me. I read it in a letter that Henry wrote to Victoria. So what do you say about that? Well, I only took a few bottles, sir. I swear. There's such a lot of them in there I thought nobody would notice. It won't happen again, I promise. Will you give me that letter, sir? All right, Morris. But I'm going to be watching you. Here it is. I will go then. All right, sir. Mr. Gordon, I would wish you a nice day, but that is not what it is today. To what do I owe your visit? Well, you told me yesterday to come over. Let us not discuss things outside in the rain. Please follow me. Better, is it not? Do you mind going down to the morgue with me? I have a lot of work to do. We can speak there. Not a problem. Let's go. Watch out for the steps. There is not much light in here, and the dampness can make your footing dangerous. So, what would you like to know? I have returned as per our conversation yesterday. 
This won't take long. I would only like to ask a couple of questions. Let me guess. This is about William, right? Yes. You mentioned some bad burns on his body. On the chest area, to be more specific. Yes. So? So what? When we talked yesterday, you said you would tell me more about it. That is why I am here. Is that what I said? Well, I can only repeat what I have already told you. Massive burns on the chest caused by an unknown object. Is that all? An unknown object? What you're saying is different from what you already told me. I cannot remember. Those were just initial theories, anyway. I have recorded everything in the post-mortem account. Shall I quote from it? That won't be necessary. It seems Dr. Herman has lost his memory since yesterday. Why is he concealing what he originally wanted to tell me after we had first met? That death report would interest me, but not in his presence. I spoke with Detective Collier about Henry's death. It was inevitable that he would end this way. He was a lost cause. What do you mean? Well, it certainly was not the first time something happened to that man after he drank himself into a stupor. I know this well because it was I who had to restore him to normalcy after the other bouts. It was not usually serious. However, on this occasion, he overestimated his capacity for drink for the last time. This is rather awkward, but you see, Henry had something important that belongs to me. I have looked just about everywhere and have not found it. So it occurred to me that he might have had it with him, and that you... So, what is this it supposed to be? Actually, it's just a small piece of paper, but it's very important. Otherwise, I would not ask you. You want me to search his personal belongings? I would be grateful if you would do that, Doctor. Gordon, that parcel is part of the evidence. I cannot just remove something and give it to you until the police have completed their investigations. But that something was mine. No matter. Until the case is officially closed, I cannot even show you any of those things. I understand. Thank you, Doctor. At least I know where that blasted bill of exchange is. Doctor, do you think you could go outside for a moment so I could have a look around? I could forget my wallet on the table when you return. Excuse me? If I had not known your family for so long, I would be offended. Look, I can see where you're coming from. I already told you the parcel has to stay sealed until the investigation is over. So forget it. A lot of torn papers are on the top. Hmm. Somebody must have disposed of them only a little while ago. They're not wet. I'll have a look at them. It was torn to pieces. Obviously, they didn't want anyone to read it.
Dear H, my next delivery will reach you soon. Delivery will reach you soon. You need not worry. Everything has gone smoothly. No one knows anything, and that is how it is going to stay. Do not forget that what I am doing here is for the good of science, and without your help, I would be unable to continue my research. I will send you my results, as usual, within the next month. H. Herman is likely the addressee, but who's hiding behind the R? What kind of delivery are they talking about in that letter? Samuel Gordon, uh, please let me in, Doctor. I need to speak to you. Yes, come in. I am downstairs, in the morgue. for death reports himself. The bottom is stained, probably by dried blood. I cannot take the keys while Herman is watching me. Herman uses it to carry the bodies. There are some things contaminated with blood. I'm not going to mess with it. Dr. Herman, I would like to speak to you. Just a moment. So, what brings you here? I've noticed the place can also serve as a dark room. Yes, I'm developing the autopsy photographs here. No one provides such services in the village. It is almost like the Middle Ages around here. Nevertheless, one eventually gets used to it. Are you asking because you'd like to have some photographs developed? You see, Gordon, this is not a copier for tourists. You are standing in a morgue. Oh yes, that's quite apparent. I only need very few pictures, though. Hmm. All right, then. But I will only do this because of my friendship for your family. Give it to me. Thank you, Doctor. Hold on. I would like something in return. I cannot get you the picture without it anyway. I have run out of toner. Would you bring me some from the village? Didn't you just say that no one could provide that kind of service in the village? Yes, and they do not. I have an agreement with old Murray. He orders me supplies from town. Tell him the toner is for me. He will gladly sell it to you. Right. I'll be back. 